Hey everyone, this is Chris Assis of Bautan's Constructing Dance. We were talking in the previous video, in the last video, about motivation and how real results actually can get you motivated to do more stuff um, or enhance uh, the stuff you already know. So, uh, one of the, usually the main reasons why we don't do stuff or, let's say, it is a reason, but sometimes it does become an excuse, is the time, the time limit. We are very busy people, living very, very busy lives, so it is, we always, we're always caught up into this, uh, into this craziness. So today, um, and that was, sorry, and that was actually why I showed you that little exercise that takes just 30 seconds and it will get you started. It's a very, very small act, but it can get you, it can get you started. It can give you that little, you know, light up the fire in you um, to get practicing and to get, to get more and more into um working on your tango or actually on any other skill that you that you want to pick up on so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you a practice of five minutes just a suggestion what I would do if I only had five minutes to practice my tango and um, what the key things that I want you to have in mind while doing this is that when we get into any practice, any type of practice, any type of training, we want to actually be very present and very active. Not in terms, not uh, active in terms of intensity, but active in terms of mindset. We're there, we're focused, and we're making every minute count. That's the most important part you need to have in mind before starting this um, this practice. So the next thing is. Um, before you start any of these exercises, consider your your own physical abilities and your physical limitations. What I mean to say by this is, for example, me, I have a little bit, my right hip is a little, I feel a little bit of pain the last few days. So I'm going to have that in mind when I'm going to be doing my five minute uh, routine, my five minute practice routine. I'm going to try and see, okay, what is it that aggravates it? What is it that tones it down? What position, how can I move um, to, to get some feedback out of it? Instead of trying to avoid it or avoid the whole practice altogether, uh, you'll use the practice to... I don't want to say create a remedy because here, if it's something serious, you actually need to go to a doctor. But to find alternative ways to be able to move. So start taking those physical boundaries that we all have. Start taking them down one piece at a time by being active, present, and aware. So let's get to it. Five minutes. Just five minutes of tango practice. Here we go.
that was it, you all. It's five minutes of tango practice, uh, all for you, ready to use. You can do more than me or you can do less than me. What you need to have in mind is that every minute of those five minutes count. And if you're thinking, well, what is five minutes going to do to me? Um, think about it this way. Five minutes is a lot more than zero minutes. So you can do a lot of things and get a, a unmeasurable um unmeasurable results if especially if you're really focused in what you're doing not only to to bring in as many movements as you can just do random stuff one after the other after the other but the important part is to be able to bring in and discover what is essential in tangle and what is essential in tangle for you in your tangle let's put it that way um, so if you want a program that guides you through uh, things like that and throws you in it throws you different ideas and puts everything together for you with recipes with tips suggestions and many 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 goodies if you want a program uh, that puts everything together for you uh, brings in tips lots and lots of videos on essential uh, tangle elements uh, many suggestions, recipes on practices from five minutes all the way up to two hours, um, but also urging you to discover what is essential to you to make this this practice an experience, and and that way make the results even greater and even more important for you, not only for tango but get some lessons for your everyday life. I have a course for you. It is called Intelligent Tango, Reconstruct Your Posture, Smoothen Out Your work Walks and Orchos, and Make Tango Your Second Major. You can find more information about that at bellcoms.com.